Good evening. This is Soma56. I created some software called Socium Extractor, and this is the third installment of what is going to be a few, more than a few videos on geographical email extraction. Now, I got an email from a client, and he said, hey, I need to get emails from New Orleans. Okay, great. I'll just mention a couple things before moving forward. The technique I'm going to show you can be used for any city in around the planet and or country. And secondly, if you have not had a chance, please take a minute or 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes, whatever they amount to, and review the first two videos on geographical extraction. I'll put them in the, in the description. It'll just give you a better background on what angle I'm taking this or evolving this to. So what we're actually going to be doing in this particular installment is using Google as our base search to scrape. And this is phenomenal. This is this is a this is actually a very cool way. Oh my screensaver went on there. Okay, sorry about that. This is a really very accurate way of getting email addresses. <clears throat> so, let me show you an example. If we go to Google, if we select Google as our search engine in Social Email Extractor, and we go to Google, we have to think about how somebody would post their information on a blog or forum, or anything for that matter, a website, to indicate that they, they live in a specific city or country. So, one of the most simplistic ways of doing that is saying something like, I live in country X, or country, or city. In this case here, we'll do New Orleans, if I can spell it correctly. And we'll throw at gmail.com in there, too. Now, if we do a search on that, we've got something in the description here that says, we'll just take the first one here as an example. And there it's loaded up. So what I'll do is a search here for New Orleans on this page. Okay, so there's some text right there. And if we can zoom in on that, it says, I live in New Orleans. Perfect. So we know the person writing this. Unless they're not... Uh, <laughs> they're making stuff up. It's safe to assume that the person who wrote this lives in New Orleans. Now let's see if we can find an email account in this content. And we can, right there at the bottom. So, this is more or less how the Google geographical extraction will work. It all comes back to what you'll be typing in in Google. Let's just have a look at another site here. see what happens. So we'll search at Gmail. That one is... I live in Montreal. So that didn't work. Let's go back to the description here. I live in New Orleans, and this is the email address associated with it. 666. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that. I live in New Orleans. 666. Not... Uh, Insinuating anything here? I'm going to say that number. We'll do a search for 666. Okay. So, alright, so if we zoom in on this, this is obviously some sort of post or uh, vlog entry. I forgot to add, yada, yada, yada. I live in New Orleans. I'm retired, da 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 da. And my email is, yada, da, da 666 at gmail.com. Perfect. So, Hopefully these couple of examples have given you uh, some logic with respect to how you can use Google to scrape from a specific city. You're going to want to spin this around as much as you can, and I would love to get your input on it. So, I live in New Orleans, we could do just moved to New Orleans, we could do we could do moving 
two New Orleans. We could do... How about living in New Orleans? Alright, so... With two eyes, there's no... Nothing comes back. Alright, so basically you get the idea. You're going to want to spend different phrases in, in, in your keyword box. So that's another thing to, to point out. That everything that I'm pointing out here, uh, I as far as our search, is going to go in the keyword box in the program. So if we scroll back up, here's your keywords. This is where you're going to want to input all those different sort of suggestions that I that I'd referenced. The important thing, too, to mention is wrapping quotes around your keyword phrase. Now, if you don't, you're going to get mixed results. And let's see if I can just bring up Google to show you what will happen if you do that. Or we'll just type in a new one here. Recently moved to... New Orleans, and we're going to take out the quotes. Now, I've already written this in the uh, in the guide, but there's no harm in bringing it up here again. So, I don't think it matters if that's capitalized or not, but here we've got in the second example, it says New Orleans, move. The word recently isn't there. This one says move to New Orleans, recently moved to New Orleans. Okay, so some of them are good. But when you get down the line, you go to page two, page three, it's going to start degrading your search. It's going to your your searches are not going to be as bang on. When you search with quotations around your keyword phrase, it will bring up specifically every instance of that phrase. Recently moved to New Orleans. Recently moved to New Orleans. Page one, page two, page five, page one thousand. It's always going to contain the specific the exact phrase that you can that you included in your, your 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 keyword search here. So that's basically it. I would suggest that you use as much as many uh, search search criteria as you can, combine them all. You may want to look at emailextractor.ca and see if I've had time to update that. That's basically going to be the be all end all of SMTP providers checking their source, their country origin, and it's going to be this awesome cool database. Right now, I'm just grabbing, um, well, have a look and see what the status is there. I'm sure I'll put something up. Another thing you could do, if I did not mention this, I'm pretty sure I did mention it in the first two videos, is grabbing SMTP providers from the specific country that you have, law, um, have that you're targeting. So in this case here, I don't know if New Orleans has a specific SMTP provider or Chicago, New York, or whatever the case. I'm sure they do. Some users might have a an email address associated with that specific city. So if I lived in New Orleans and I got internet through, you know, New Orleans ISP 101, and my, my email could potentially be, or one of my email addresses, could be New Orleans 101 ISP, you know, Soma at ispneworleans.com so basically what I'm trying to say is if there's an SMTP provider associated with the city and you're able to get it and include it in your search criteria then any email that you scrape from that SMTP provider granted that you know full well that it's directly from that specific city or country then it's it's game over you know you know, you're you're ninety percent confident that the email address there goes my screensaver again. Sorry about that. You're ninety percent confident that the email address is is associated with the 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 target geographical location that you're looking for. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.